What's good, everyone? This is Jake over at Jengris Ford. This is a 2022 Ford Mustang GT Premium Fastback. Now, this is finished in the beautiful rapid red. This is actually one of my favorite paints paired with this black mesh grill we have in the center. The unmistakable design of the Ford Mustang. Going on 50 plus years, people. We have the signature LED lights as well, as well as this lip down here for some aggressive aerodynamic design. And of course, we have these hood scoops on the top. Under the hood, we're gonna have a five liter V8 pushing 460 horsepower. That's right, 460 horsepower paired with a six-speed manual transmission. Now, coming over to the side. This vehicle has been optioned with 20-inch machine aluminum wheels that look absolutely fantastic. I am a big fan of these. Um, just in case you forgot what you were driving, it says 5.0 inside, so if you don't know what kind of Mustang it is, it says 5.0 right there. Funny quirk about this Mustang, it has blind spot monitors. So this little side mirror has your little blind spot monitor right in the side that's gonna light up orange. This vehicle also has keyless entry that's gonna come standard with the premium model. So all I have to do is have the key fob in your pocket very conveniently, open the door, simply unlocks by itself. Come on in. Onto the interior. Now, there's a lot to talk about in here, but the first thing you're gonna notice is the six-speed manual transmission. Yeah, baby, let's go. All right, starting with the seats. These are leather bolstered seats. Now, it's gonna keep you nicely in the seat when you're doing some performance uh, driving. These are powered seats as well. See, look at that, powered seats. You wouldn't expect that, but it's very nice. In the center, we have a full digital gauge cluster that's actually configurable. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this steering wheel down so you can see better, there we go. So we have a full, come on, full digital gauge cluster that is configurable. Now, when you change your drive mode, which is on these tabs down here, so I'm gonna press the one for the drive mode. So we're gonna change the drive mode from normal into sport plus, and you can see how the gauge changes and adapts. So when we're, we're gonna to go to track mode, it turns off traction control, makes you hit accept, and look how cool that gauge is. It's gonna have a full tachometer across your gauge cluster. Very nice. Now, onto the safety, you know, the safety stuff that, that it's less performance, um, yeah, less performance-like. So we're gonna have right here, this is our adaptive cruise control. You can adjust the distance between yourself and the car in front of you when you're in cruise control. Therefore, you don't have to constantly turn it on and off. Now, the screen in the center, this is Sync 3. This is gonna have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you can connect your phone with the wire and everything. Go over to audio, it also has Bluetooth audio so you can connect your phone and uh, play whatever music you like to play. Our climate controls are in here. It's a little bit of redundancy, but if you don't wanna use the buttons down here, you could always go into the screen. Dual climate controls, very nice to have. No more fighting over the temperature. And again, like I was saying, you could take your phone calls, while you're driving. Um, and then it has a built-in navigation system as well. So you don't even have to search for things. You can go in here. And what's very nice is about the Sync 3, it's loading, give it a second, there we go. You can actually hit like points of interest and you don't necessarily have to type in everything. Which is really nice about these Mustangs. You don't have to distract yourself from driving. I like to show off the entertainment. And you can go over and hit casino, searching for casinos. And look at that, we're gonna be driving to MGM in our Mustang very shortly, okay, people? All right, so we're gonna go over to the app. So any app that is compatible with the system will be downloaded into the screen right here. And of course, you have your settings. This is just your typical boring stuff, adjust the clock, all that stuff. So moving down to these pads right here. So these buttons are your climate controls. And what's really nice is this vehicle not only has heated seats, it has a heated steering wheel and cooled seats, which is going to be huge in the summer. That's huge. So it's got the cooled seats. And again, like I was saying with these buttons down here, you have your very cool fighter jet looking stop start button. Your hazard lights are in this toggle switch, which is really satisfying to hit. <laughs> Traction control. And then of course, 
your steering. So there's sport steering, there's normal, there's comfort steering, which will make it easier to steer. You go into your, your sport steering, it's gonna make it more precise. When you, when you have your steering, it's gonna feel more responsive and connected to the road, which is very cool. All right, moving on to the back seats. All right, this is gonna be great. I get to show off how much room is back here or a lack of. Obviously, we have the seats all the way forward, but if we're gonna put them back into the position to where I'd be sitting, there's not a lot of space, people. Like my head, my head's pretty much against the roof line. It, what's nice is you have this glass, you have an indentation with the glass, which is nice. So um, you can be back here fairly comfortably. It's reasonably for a short period of time. Now, something very cool that not everyone knows about the Mustang is that these seats actually go down. Look at that. So you could carry your snowboard and your Mustang when you're going for your winter drifting sessions. So that's gonna connect with the trunk and I'll show you back here. So we're gonna go into our trunk. Into the trunk. As you can see, it's fairly large for a two-door vehicle. And pair that with putting the seats down, you have a very decent trunk space. Now, the iconic rear view of a Mustang here. We have the triple rear view LED lights in the back and obviously those will be sequential. So when you turn on your turn signals and I'll show you, it will be sequential. Signature, looks very nice. This vehicle also has the active exhaust. So that's an option for the Mustang. You could actually change how loud the exhaust is. It's kind of hard to hear out here when we're outside, but you can, there's a button inside that allows you to change how loud the exhaust is. It's very nice for not waking up the neighbors. It's very considerate. <laughs> so you can always get that. But yeah, the iconic Mustang. Thank you for coming to Jengris Ford. I'm Jake and see you soon.